Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to Point of Insanity Game Studios Geekery in general. I'm going to do a, just a little fun thing here for my YouTube channel. might do a little series called Father vs. Son, where my son and I play a game and do a little challenge. So today is going to be the great hang gliding crash injury challenge from Amped 3 for the Xbox 360. This is a really fun game. It's just got a totally zany, totally irrelevant story, and it is awesome. So if you have an Xbox 360, I highly recommend you check out Amped 3. So, let's fire it up here. Okay, so we're going to hit the slopes. Now, my son and I were practicing this a little bit before we actually started recording this episode. Like I said, this isn't important. I got a thing. super crash. Like, Idol is like making a joke. You don't need a sled. All you have to do is use your body. Yes, you just got a crash and you'll start screaming and falling. <laughs> so, we are on Valle Nevado, I think. Valle Nevado. So, go to the very top. And we were practicing a little bit before, so. We haven't played this game in a while. This is actually the first time we've played this game in a long time. So, it's like... Okay. Okay, that's not getting very good air, so... <laughs> actually, not too bad of a crash, because what we were doing before, you'll notice that my high score here is like 561,240, and that was... I don't know how I did it, it's just I flew way up and I got some really total wicked sick air and that's how I got that really huge <laughs> score. And, well, I'm actually pretty impressed. Usually we try to go as high as we can to see how much of a crash we can get. Okay, 139,592. There you go, kid. If you want to try restarting the run, you can. Or you think you don't How do you to. restart? Uh, I don't know, try just doing this. See, see how you do. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, you're going to try to start over. You're going to try to see if you can fly high, can't you? <laughs> I know, the, the hang gliding control in this game does take a little getting used to. Uh, the hang glider does actually work into the plot of the game. There is a segment where your character, who is called just Player One during the game, is trying to raise money to cover some stolen funds. And one of the things he does is he takes on these dangerous tasks for a marketing company that really doesn't care about player one's safety. And as a result, well, he ends up having to fly a hang glider through a really dangerous route. So, let's see how well my son does. Oh, he's gone up into the sky, so you're definitely going to get some wicked sick air. Maybe I'll do a playthrough of this game. I mean, I know I'm I'm sure there's probably tons of Let's Plays for this game out there, and I highly recommend looking them up if you have a chance. The thing that I love so much about this game is just the cutscenes are really weird. It's There's some that are done in anime style. I know there's some that are done in uh, using sock puppets. It's just a totally weird game. I remember the first time I learned about this game, Back when we used to have Direct TV, there was a high definition channel called, I think it was like Game Network, and they had a show well, called, oh, here he goes, called Cinematics, where, oh my, oh, that is some wicked air. But they had this show called Cinematics where they would just show the cutscenes of different games, and this was one of them. They usually didn't do all of them because they had to compress it into about an hour, hour and a half episode, something like that. But it was still kind of a fun show to watch. Now, unfortunately, that show, I don't think they do it anymore just because it's kind of obsolete. I mean, you got just about anyone can uh, put up shows on YouTube, you know, doing the exact same thing. So it's there's no real point in making a, you know, big, long TV show. Wow, you... <laughs> Definitely got some air on this one. <laughs> no, he's definitely going to have a few bumps and bruises. <laughs> Sheesh!
Well, we're almost to the ground. <laughs> I can start seeing some features on the ground. We're almost there. <laughs> However, one thing about the crash thing here, just because you have a long fall like this doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a really good crash score. It has to do with what you hit and how fast you're hitting and how many tumbles you get. It's something like that. Okay, we're almost to the ground. And... Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. So I had... I didn't get my final score. I had like a hundred some thousand. I don't think you're gonna beat it. Yeah, because you got a nice long fall, but... I don't think you quite hit with enough momentum. Oh, I win this first father vs. son challenge. So, maybe we'll do some other father vs. son challenges in the future. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching us brutalize and murder this poor video game character by making him endure uh, huge falls and lots of bumps and bruises. So, thanks for tuning in, and feel free to leave comments. And uh, look at thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Look at.